So, I asked some of my favorite streamers to raid and possibly roast all of the Valentine themed skins and paladins. Let's see how well they will hold up. Carnival Ying is like one of the most prettiest skins ever. It's cute. It's very adorable. Overall, I do like this skin. She has that accent going on, like a Latin American accent, and I really adore that. When she says yes, she says C, sí, and that's some nice level of detail. The voice, it's very fun, enjoyable. I like spamming the woohoo line. Her woohoo is so spammable. She has one of my favorite like woohoo lines. No, I can't do it personally. Oh my god, I can't do that. I can't roll my R's. I mean, if the Koga voice actor's doing that, I am not going to win. I'm just saying. You want me to replicate it with my deep voice? Like, like that? I don't know what that is. Oh my god. She's like, obviously a lot more glamorous than that. The outfit is amazing. It's elegant it represents the carnival events that go on i think the color scheme looks really good the red and the pink are really good the gold matches it really well her hair's actually default besides like the headdress i do love her thigh highs the back little heart thing is pretty cool in carnival you have to wear those kind of accessories so it's good i like that she has hearts on the front and the back of her underwear i don't know why you would think i'd look up champion skirts i never do that i will say one thing she really needs to put on some underwear or something because <laughs> if you look at her from the side there's not much covering her up <laughs> like it's white and she's got pale skin so like it's kind of hard to tell you know what? at least she has something covering it up the next skin next patch she doesn't have that little loincloth thing in the uh, way <laughs> i gotta put up more clothes on this poor woman <laughs> she's probably really cold okay right why hello why can't you make an obvious underwear why? It's not as bad as Madame Saris though, because Madame Saris is just straight up not wearing underwear. Weapon is really pretty. It doesn't take up a whole bunch on the screen. I like that her shatter like breaks the heart down the middle. I would say about a seven or an eight. 11 out of 10. I'll probably give it a seven and a half. 8.5, I guess. When I think of Valentine skins, I do think of this skin first. So, Heartbreaker Sky, I mean, it's very basic. It could use some more textures about it because it does look very smooth, if that makes sense. I think it's great. I like the color scheme. I like the colors. I like the clothing. It's good. Yeah. You don't see tons of accessories placed on her. It's just perfect. One thing I really like is that the weapon itself, it's very sleek. It doesn't get in your way, it's not distracting. And also, it has some pretty good weapon effects, like when you shoot the wall, there's little kisses <laughs> that show up. I like the shorts and the little bit of a thigh slit. She has the corset going on, then she's got stocking. It feels almost unnecessary. <laughs> almost. But then you remember, it is Sky. <laughs> So there's got to be some sort of sex appeal in there. Because uh, she's a hoe. What do you mean? <laughs> she's battle ready while also ready to fight on the battlefield of love. Yeah, she is ready, if you know what I mean. I know a lot of people are annoyed by the voice. I can't stand the voice for the skin. It's so overacted. Everything is spoken in falsetto. It's like, ah, shut up. She's annoying. I just can't stand it. She just seems like the annoying obsessive type who I would want to keep at a very healthy distance. Exactly. She wants your love. She wants your soul, but you're not going to give it to her, so she's going to come for you. Stay on the opposite side of the ballroom, we'll be okay. Exactly. The model is there, but the voice pack detracts from it so much, I have to give it a six. I think I'd give it a six out of ten. A six. She gets a six and a half, correct? Say my name. I don't know if I'm ready. Oh my god. Oh god, no. Oh, oh god. I, I want to forget <laughs> that this skin exists. We don't talk about Love Machine Bomb King. Okay, answer me this. Daddy Mouse, why? Let me ask you a question, Mr. Mouse. Why? Like, who let this get past the developing team? <sighs> like, did they just kind of briefly look over it and go, that looks about right, and <laughs> just send it on its way? <laughs> is that his outfit? Is that his body? Oh. What is this? Why, why does, does he it have nipples? nipples? What? Who decided to put nipples <laughs> on the bomb? They gave him nipples. They drew nipples on a bomb. Why did they draw nipples on a bomb? Why? A robot with nipples? That's concerning. Okay. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. Oh my god. I just clicked it. He was like, don't get discouraged and let's go another round. Uh, like, no. But nobody wants to have sex with a bomb. It's not even a human. Like, you know, it's like Bomb King told the warlord that he killed. Hey, can you dress me up as a love machine? Like, I want to seduce some ladies oh, in the realm. God. And the warlord is like, yeah, sure, I will. And then the fact that he's got abs, it's on the level of Pepper. What is happening kind of thing, you know? It's, it's bland. It's basic. There's nothing to look at. His pants 
They're just boring. Pants feel so disconnected from the rest of the skin. Cape, the edge textures, pretty much the same as default for the most part. It doesn't even look like he's got a beard. It looks like they've just painted the bottom part of his face white. Then we get to the actual bums themselves. Ugh. Every time I throw them, oh, just... it's just moan after moan. I would reenact it for you, but I don't want you to get demonetized. And the Grumpy Bomb in particular, I think, is the worst offender. You throw that out, and it makes me want to use Accelerant just so it plays for a less amount of time. Let me tell you a story. It was after my graduation in 2017. I was playing, I encountered this skin, my mom and dad were in front of me, and then my headphones were not plugged into my computer. And uh, they heard the Grumpy Bomb, by the way, and... Uh, it was ugly. The whole encounter was ugly. My mom asked me, like, what the hell are you watching? And I was scared. Like, nothing, mom. It's just a game. And my dad was like, show me what you're playing. And, I'm like, and it was Paladins. And, and my dad was like, where did that sound come from? I'm like, it's one of the champions, dad. I trust me. Whatever I said made it even worse. And that's the reason why I didn't play Paladins for the entire 2017. The only, the only way this skin gets points for me is the voice pack. The voice lines are top notch. Like, bomb king. Give your king a big hug. Girl, you make my hair roll. <laughs> I hate this so much. It's a negative 10 out of 10. 1 out of 10, and that one point is the voice pack. A 3. Skin is 0 out of 10. Come on, haters. It's a 0 out of 10. Come sue me. Come on. Tyra. Ooh, boy. I mean, I like it. I actually really like this skin. It gives me strong moxie vibes. I like the outfit, but you see these shoulder pads that have these huge hearts. Hmm, they could be a tiny bit smaller. And then if you see the gloves and everything else, it's like gigantic. The heart shoulder pads, I think, are unnecessary. Usually fishnets, they're a lot more like tinier squares. And that is not a tiny square. <laughs> I have no one to judge. I'm just going to say, like, you know, fishnets, I feel like they could have been avoided. It does look like a glazed ham. <laughs> she has so many cool flashy skins. This one kind of just slipped away into the back of my mind, but... And I think it's a really good skin. It's just Tyra's got a ton of really good skin. <laughs> I really love the gold accents on this skin. The weapon, it does have different sound effects. It sounds almost velvety, which is a weird way to describe a gun, but... Whoa, wait, so there's space between her shorts that are basically just panties and her top. Oh, I just noticed right now she doesn't have pants. Wait a second! <laughs> But she looks like, you know, she just came from a war and she had some fun time with the soldiers, if you know what I mean. I like the voice pack. It suits Tyra while like still being that sexy Valentine's flirty kind of personality. Definitely. She's older. She's experienced. I don't know why all the hot take skin so far have been really old women, but you know, it's fun. <laughs> I'd say I'd give it about an 8. Like an 8 out of 10? I'm gonna say an 8. I would give her still an 8 out of 10. Sky, okay. She has a boyfriend, but she's very controlling. So people who are in a relationship and can't let go, like if I see you with another girl, I'm gonna murder her. Yeah. I feel like they play with their partner every time. And like, you're not gonna play with anyone else. You're only gonna play with me. Tyra skin. <laughs> I think this would be used by the people who want to carry the team while looking smoking while doing it. <laughs> Badasses on the team would want to wear this skin. There are two types of player that would use that. A really bad player, they suck at the game, they have this skin, they got it randomly out of a chest, and it's the only skin they have. And then they're going to go like 4 and 8 on Bomb King. Or an absolute, just despicable human being who wants to see everyone around them suffer. It's like the same type of people that use the Beach Cassie skin and just spam the voice line, except it's worse because they don't even have to spam a voice line. They don't even have to put in the effort, just hit someone with a sticky bomb and everyone's ears are just bleeding. Oh, the horniest of people. Carnival Ying wins the big horny of the Valentine skins. A Valentine skin for a champion who doesn't have it yet. Oh, that's hard. Ooh. Okay, I see what you mean by a hard question. Oh, that's tough. Okay, first and foremost, Furia. A Cupid Furia skin. Come on. And maybe Io. There's like this really cool Io skin concept. Ooh, this is done by Marcello. I like this. There's like the begone is a big heart letter saying you want to be my Valentine and it says no. <laughs> It's brutal. If only IO didn't already get a lot of skins. <laughs> it's really only one option. 
Barrick. You could put Barrick in like a red tuxedo and get his beard kind of like dolled up and make it all look, you know, very, very handsome. I think I'd like Valentine Saki. Yeah, because she's already got that flirty personality, so it'd be really easy to play into that more. Similar how they did with Heartbreaker, but just like a better. Love Machine Bomb King's theme would fit Croc as well. You know, the shirtless one, the beard. Hell yeah. I sound way too excited, don't I? Damn, I should slow down. But hey, if any of you are out there, I wish you find your love as soon as possible. 